How to tell if your dog has parvo. Canine parvovirus infection, also called parvo, is a highly contagious gastrointestinal disease with a high mortality rate. The virus is common in puppies. Experienced dog owners and breeders often panic when they suspect one of their dogs has parvo. They know how quickly the condition advances and how lethal it can be. If your dog has parvo, getting to a veterinarian quickly can increase the odds of survival, but the symptoms of parvo can be confused with the symptoms of other canine diseases, including coronavirus infection, bacterial hemorrhagic enteritis, coccidiosis, and hookworm infestation. Part 1 Recognizing the Symptoms of Parvo 1. Consider your dog's age. Parvo typically occurs in puppies between 6 and 20 weeks of age, and 85% of all infections occur in dogs under 1 year old. Puppies are most susceptible because they have a very high number of rapidly dividing cells in their stomachs and intestines. These cells are the primary target of the parvo virus. If your dog is older, parvo is unlikely, though certainly not impossible. If your puppy's mother was not vaccinated against parvo, it's possible for the virus to appear even earlier, in the first few weeks of life. 2. Factor in your dog's breed Parvo is more likely in certain breeds, including Rottweilers, American Pit Bull Terriers, Doberman Pinschers, and German Shepherds. If your dog belongs to one of these groups, be particularly vigilant in watching for parvo. 3. Monitor your dog's behavior. In general, the first sign of a parvo infection is lethargy. Your puppy may become less active, eventually retreating to a corner and staying put. This lethargy is typically followed by weakness and loss of appetite. The signs are rapidly progressive with a quiet dog quickly becoming critically ill with foul, bloody diarrhea. 4. Watch for fever. Dogs with parvo usually develop a fever between 104 and 106 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 to 41 degrees Celsius. 5. Pay attention to vomiting. Parvo destroys the stomach which is full of the rapidly dividing cells that the virus targets. The stomach lining becomes irritated and ulcerated, causing your dog to vomit. 6. Pay attention to your dog's stools. Typically, the diarrhea associated with parvo is particularly severe. It is as if the dog is passing blood, a very liquid and foul, smelling diarrhea. This may lead to dehydration as well. 7. Check for signs of anemia. Parvo causes gastro, intestinal bleeding, which can lead to anemia. To see if your dog might be anemic, press down on the gums. A healthy dog's gums will quickly return to their normal color, usually within two seconds. If it takes longer, your dog may be anemic. Anemia may also lead to a noticeable paleness of the gums. Part 2 Diagnosing Parvo 1. Take your dog to a veterinarian immediately. The earlier you get your dog to the vet, the greater the odds of survival. Unfortunately, many dog owners fail to recognize the symptoms or wait too long to see a vet. When they finally take action, their dogs are in the late stages of the disease and tend to die from dehydration. 2. Consider for an ELISA antigen test. To diagnose parvo, your veterinarian may perform the enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay ELISA test. This test checks your dog's stool for evidence of parvo. It can be done in your veterinarian's office. The ELISA test gives rapid results, but it may not be completely accurate. Be aware that false negative results do occur. On the other hand, a test to confirm parvo may not really be necessary. The parvo virus causes severe illness. Since the condition is managed with supportive care rather than cured, 
it is not always necessary to run diagnostic tests. The treatment will likely be the same with or without a definite diagnosis. Proving it beyond doubt would not change the treatment given and could divert limited financial resources away from vital treatment. 3. Do additional tests. The ELISA test alone can sometimes fail to diagnose parvo. Your veterinarian may also perform a hemagglutination test, a blood count, and or a direct fecal smear. The results of these tests, together with the ELISA test, will reveal the presence of parvo in your dog. 4. Follow your veterinarian's suggestions for treatment. There is no cure for the parvo virus, however, your veterinarian can recommend supportive therapies and practical measures that will increase your dog's odds of survival. These might include hospitalization, anti-vomiting medication, intravenous fluids, probiotics, vitamin therapy. Tips Vaccination is the only way to prevent your puppy from getting parvo. The first shot can be done as early as 5 to 6 weeks of age. It needs to be repeated every 2 to 3 weeks for a total of at least 3 shots. Parvo is a very stable, persistent virus. It is resistant to a number of disinfectants, and it can survive for long periods, up to several months, even. It is important to maintain good sanitation and disinfection in your dog's premises. Look for products that are labeled as effective in disinfecting against parvo, or, on bleach, safe items, use a solution of one part bleach to 30 parts water. Parvo is a viral disease and cannot be treated with antibiotics. Warnings do not attempt to treat parvo on your own. Even when dogs receive high, quality veterinary care, the virus can be fatal. Trying to treat it on your own is much too risky.